Hello one and all, my name is Ryan Bruce, my friends call me Fluff, and today on Rifts, Beards, and Gear, I thought we would shoot out a hardware SSL G-Comp compressor versus a couple of its digital plug-in counterparts. So as I start to mix more and more records and songs for bands, I've kind of revisited an old, I don't know, an old argument if I may, of digital versus hardware in regards to audio plugins and use cases and things like that. Just kind of making my own opinions and seeing what's out there now and kind of revisiting some uh, some classic tropes and arguments, namely the SSL G-Comp compressor, which is an absolute classic. The G-Comp compressor was originally on uh, the early SSL consoles of the 70s you know the 4000 series you know e and g series and things like that and i actually have in my 500 series rack an actual ssl g comp a modern version it's not vintage or anything like that and i thought we would take one of my recent mixes i did for a video and a b and c them along with ssl's native compressor and a classic waves g comp compressor plugin and before we go any further, this video is sponsored by the fine folks over at Sweetwater. For all of your audio gear needs, plug-in, hardware, compressors, microphone preamps, microphones, monitoring, any of that stuff, head on over to Sweetwater. I will link down below in the description. All thoughts and opinions are mine. So I went ahead and printed out a mix with no bus compression, no two bus compression on it. So that way, I could route to three individual buses and I would have a hardware insert as a control, my actual SSL G comp in my rack here. And then I have two other tracks. I have a bus compressor two from SSL and a classic G master bus compressor from waves. Now the waves plugin has been around for like 20 years. And there's a few differences between these, which we will get to in just a second. However, the Bus Compressor 2, the SSL native compressor, is really the digital version of this hardware compressor I have in the 500 series, which is why I chose this particular plugin, because it is really, for all intents and purposes, the digital variant of the physical thing that I own, okay? So you will notice on the waves, the Waves is modeling a, a 70s version of this compressor. Therefore, it does not have a sidechain frequency select. There is no sidechain filter, okay? So I can't let it listen to everything above, for example, I think I have this one set at 105 hertz. Whereas my hardware has a physical dial to dial in the sidechain filter, as well as the, the native plugin does, the Waves does not. However, everyone has this Waves plugin and it's like 40 bucks and it's an absolute classic. So that's why I'm using this one as opposed to, to some other variant of a different kind of compressor. This is a good control and everyone knows this compressor. It has a classic sound. Now, the hardware that I'm using, the SSL G Comp, retails for about $1,300. And this Bus Compressor 2 was recently added to the Slate Digital All Access bundle for 14 bucks a month. It's pretty inexpensive. The plugins are very inexpensive. I've always thought they sounded good. I am a heavy user of the Bus Compressor 2 in particular. However, let's see how it fares against the, uh, the hardware, shall we? So you will see me kind of bounce between all three of these. Now, a couple of things to note that these, getting these perfectly matched is basically impossible. I went by ear and I did, uh, I ran uh, some sine waves through it and some um, some different utilities through each of these to get them as close as I possibly can gain wise and gain reduction wise with, as far as the makeup gain goes and the thresholds, okay? So you will notice on my actual hardware, the threshold is at zero. In order to get that same amount of gain reduction on the native SSL plugin, I am at plus six dB. And for the waves, I am at 4.4 dB in the positive, past zero, okay? 
Also, the makeup gains are totally different. 0.1 on the Waves, 0.3 on the SSL, and I believe I am at 1 dB on the hardware. Okay, so I got these as close as humanly possible. The attacks are set the same, the release are, is set the same, the ratios are the same. However, to my ear, they don't, they're not behaving exactly the same, but again, that's the fun in comparing these things. Let's go ahead and play some audio. Let's see how they sound. I'm going to start with the SSL G comp, and then we're going to go through the bus compressor too, and then the waves, and I'm just gonna kinda click around, and you will be able to see on the screen what you are listening to at any given time. interesting now if you are not listening on some studio monitors or some headphones if you were just watching this on your phone you're not going to hear a difference between any of these however here in the studio the differences are subtle but they are there and to me the hardware sounds like it has a little bit of a, a sauce factor in the top end and the mid-range i'm hearing a very slight mid-range shift in the waves and a little bit more low end in the waves that's possibly because of the side chain filter we talked about earlier the bus compressor 2 sounds real close to the hardware real close it's not exactly there's a little bit of a mid-range shift in this one as well but it has the same top end it's not really touching the low end since we do have the side chain high pass filter uh, engaged to 105 uh, hertz however is that worth $1,200 in one instance for you guys? You know, this is pretty interesting for me. I didn't do this ahead of time. As I'm hearing these, you are hearing these, and it's pretty nuts. Let's see if we can get the makeup gains even closer. I feel like the waves might be a little quiet, even though my meters say they're really, really close. Let's try to dial in the volumes a little closer and see what we get. Feel like the image changes it gets slightly narrower with the plugins whereas the hardware stays slightly wider in the top end that's what i'm hearing with my monitors right now and i don't know if that will translate through youtube the compression that you're hearing in the audio however pretty nuts um they're not as far apart as i thought they would be the the SSL native bus compressor 2 has been a favorite of mine for a long time. I am new to the G-Comp hardware world. Um, this thing I have only owned for maybe three weeks at the most. 
Um, I've been using the bus compressor too for years. The Waves, I've spent tons and tons of time with. It's a classic for a reason. It's, it's warmer. It's obviously a different model, different console, different com physical compressor was modeled off of. However, it sounds fantastic. And I do like the fact that there is a uh, mix knob on it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Is that is the sound difference worth $1,200? Only you can be the judge. I do hear differences. I don't know if it's enough to matter. I don't know. I will make prints of these individually and I will put them in the description for download if you would want to hear the high resolution full WAV files for each different compressor if you get curious yourself. And of course, shout out to our sponsor, Sweetwater, for making this video possible. And with that, you've been wonderful. I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.